The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we've had a request to take a look at a couple of commodities, but before we do that, we're going to look at what we usually start with, which is our DAX. This is a 30-minute chart going over the last few weeks. Uh, as you can see here, we've made a potential triple top here in the DAX at this uh, 10,700 level. Um, the fact that it hit at each time a little bit lower uh, is amazing to me, given the fact that the emotionalism that we have in these markets, uh, you know, we're seeing now they're even throwing Molotov cocktails in Greece after uh, President Obama. He didn't do anything to them, I don't think, but I guess they're just, we're in a uh, situation in the world where everybody wants to, uh, you know, protest. But I think it's great that they're letting all the college and high school kids you know, out of school. That's really smart. So we'll see what's going to happen here. Okay. Um, ba basically, uh, we have a question about that 135 pattern. Potentially, uh, in the uh, uh, DAX, uh, there's two things wrong with that pattern. Uh, the symmetry is not as good as we'd like to see. It's off by about five or six days. But remember, this is a 30-minute chart. And the other thing is there are no ratios present. Uh, they're basically 100% retracement, so you don't have the lower tops that you like to see on a 135 pattern. That's why you don't uh, see it as a 135. We're going to look at one here in just a little bit, but right now we'll move on to the next one that we've had a request for, which is uh, our corn market. Now we've switched over from December. Now we've moved over to the May corn. Uh, I've always done that. I don't go to the spot, which is March. Uh, you know, I like May uh, for some reason. Just uh, it's just me, <laughs> but uh, it has good open interest, as does the March. The the, pat, the charts look alike. It's just a, a personal preference. And as you can see here, you know, on the corn, we are making uh, higher bottoms in here and higher tops. So we're in a minor uptrend. We've already moved about six and a half cents away from the 61 percent retracement uh, in the May corn. Now in the December corn. It actually missed the 61% retracement by a penny and a half, uh, which is, uh, you know, a buck and a half or $100, a little more than $100. So this is going to be interesting to see uh, if this is really bullish. We're seeing the same patterns in wheat. Uh, we're seeing the same pattern in the beans. Uh, so they're all bottom. And remember, we had this super full moon on Monday, which is a uh, really strong cycle indicator for the grains, uh, probably the best of anything we have. And uh, that is especially when you have it at perigee like we did. So this is telling us that we've started it. Now, going below this level would would signal that this pattern has failed and we're going to go down more. But right now, it is certainly looking like it uh, like it wants to go higher. That's the, the main one that we're watching. Now, the second one uh, that we, we had the request for was uh, silver. And we're going to put this one. This one here is just as clear as... Uh, as anything you want to see, folks. This is, we've talked about this uh, on Monday. Uh, this is when we hit the exact 61% retracement. That's when the gold came down to the 12-12 uh, level. Uh, we're trading around 12.26 right now uh, in the gold. Last night, the silver backed off to a 61% retracement of that low down at the 16.90 level. And it looks like it wants to hold, but that's what it that's what it looks like in the silver. Uh, it has a bullish bias uh, as long as we stay above this 16 uh, 60 level, then we have a a bullish bias uh, in in the silver. And this would this would also go for the gold because the gold chart looks uh, identical to the chart that we see uh, in the silver. So those are the the main things that we want to be. Uh, keeping an eye out. Now, the, there's a big thing happening, of course. Uh, let's just switch over here to the U.S. dollar. Just to give it a second here, we'll take a look at it. And um, we'll we'll see here that the U.S. dollar is almost to the level that Andy Heck was talking about 
this morning uh, with Tom. It was a last night show repeated, but it, they repeated this, the fact that this area of around 1060, uh, 100, excuse me, 100.60 in the U.S. dollar, which is the old high from two years ago, three years ago, is going to be some pretty uh, stiff resistance potentially. And as you can see, there's a 1.27 there at the 10 uh 180 100.45 level and that's pretty much what we're where we're trading uh, right now now what we try to do is when we look at that US dollar index the first thing we want to do is to check to see where the euro is and here's the chart that we that we had in here for Monday you're going to see here that here we are this is uh, Wednesday and you'll see we went down and we hit our number which was 107 uh, even and we got to 107.92, uh, 106.92, I believe, was the low. So this could be a major, uh, you know, place for the the euro to rally. You're not, it's not going to rally up and, you know, take out the May high, but you could get a hundred pip rally back to that old breakout point at 108.58 without any trouble at all, because the market is a bit oversold, because we're down uh, five days in a row now. And this would tell us that we would probably, well, it's actually nine days in a row. So it's due for a bounce. Whether we're going to get it or not, who knows. But anything below that uh, new lows on the day would tell us that we're most probably going to go uh, a great deal lower uh, in the euro. The other one that looks very interesting, and we've also brought this to your attention on um, uh, on Monday, and that was this uh, Japanese yen trade. And, and you can see this is a pattern. As you can see, this pattern in the Japanese yen, we have gone up to the seven eight, almost to the seven eight six. We're only about 20 pips away from that seven eight six level. We're trading here at 109.40 right now, and that comes in at 109.65. So you want to watch that one uh, very closely. So that would be an interesting one, you know, to uh, keep an eye on, because uh, you know these markets have a tendency to react from these levels. And that's the main thing. Yeah, yes, we're we're seeing that uh, Target came out with their earnings, and uh, they're up about uh, eight percent. Uh, the rumors of them buying out Amazon have been totally discounted, I've heard, but that's still uh, it could be in the offing, but we we don't know for sure. All right, let's take a quick look at something that we've been watching, and that is the Canadian dollar. On Friday, the Canadian dollar also went up and made a beautiful Gartley pattern up here at this uh, 135.50 level. Happens in the middle of the night, of course, uh, and that's what uh, you know. That's what happened. Let me just ex just give you an idea of what's happening with the Canadian dollar uh, since the time that uh, that occurred. And I'll put this up here so you can take a look at it here. And now you're going to see that 135 pattern with perfect symmetry. This is what you have to be looking at. Here's the Canadian dollar. You see the high that it made uh, in the middle of the night up there at that 135.75 uh, level. Uh, and then you can see the lower highs that you've had through here. We actually got up to 135 again uh, this morning, and then we've already backed off uh, 50 pips uh, already this morning uh, down to the uh, 134. Uh, 50 level. So when you're looking at that 135 pattern, you have to have that perfect symmetry there. You have to have the lower tops, and that's uh, very, very important. Otherwise, it's not a perfect pattern, and that's what we're trying to look at when we try to find some of these. So keep that in mind. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS 
has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting tfnn.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Okay. okay, folks, we're going to continue on with the Canadian dollar. And what I've done on the chart that I've just posted is to show you how the relationship between the Canadian dollar and crude oil, as you can see, it has a about an 85 percent correlation in other words they run together uh, this is telling us that we've got a potential bottom here uh, forming in the crude oil so uh, you know keep in mind that number that we hit just yesterday that 42 and change uh, was a 78 uh, percent retracement of that previous swing and then we've had a you know three dollar almost three dollar barrel rally in just a day and a half and that was in, in uh, the light of some very statistics, I understand. So that also could be important because if markets don't go down when the news is really bearish, then that's uh, something that is going to be uh, – you have to take into to, to anticipation for it because, you know, what kind of news is going to take it to make it go down if bearish news doesn't make it go down. Now, the next thing I wanted to do was to go over a little bit about this uh, Titanic syndrome that we talked about. Uh, fortunately, we have people that listen to this show from TFNN, all of our listeners all across the globe, and we get some good information back from them. And uh, we did hear from uh, Tom, McClell Tom McClellan from the McClellan Oscillator. He's uh, Sherman's son, and um, Sherman and Charlene, they ran the business for many, many years, and now Tom's doing it out of Seattle. But I wanted to go over this. Basically, it was a pattern uh, worked by Bill Ohama, back not Obama, Ohama, he's Japanese descent, he was an engineer, and uh, he d discovered this in 1965. It basically means when you go up into new high ground and then your highs and lows start to turn down with, the, with uh, stocks still going up, that is a bearish indication. Now, the problem with it is, folks, it's just like any other pattern that you look at. It doesn't make any difference whether it's a Gartley, a butterfly, a one, three, five, a head or shoulders, whatever it happens to be, 
you know, they they don't always work. And so uh, McClellan has sent out a – he's had this before, so many people have asked him about this in the past. I frankly – hadn't thought about it in 35 years, but uh, this is what it looks like right now. You'll see here, uh, this is the, it's called the Hindenburg signal, which is uh, just a variation of Obama's signal. It basically, what he did was he used a different log scale. In other words, he was using 2.8% uh, of new highs to new lows as the relationship. And as you can see here, these were the hits uh, since uh, 1986. Uh, it called a high in 1987 nicely, but if you looked at all of them and looked at them a little closer, you see out of those 20 hits, there were only 12 out of 20. That's still positive, but you have to be able to use it in conjunction, you know, with something else. You know, it's certainly not, uh, you know, certainly not, uh, you know, you just can't take it to the widows and orphans trade. The widow, widows and orphans trade is when you get hogs at uh, – uh, 42 cents and the cost of production is 47 cents. Those are the widows and orphans trades. So you don't get those very often, but that's what we're keeping an eye on here with this. So remember, this is just a uh, an indicator of potential. That's really, you know, all you're really looking at. Now, last night we had a very interesting thing happening uh, at the end of the day. I'll post this for you to let you see the uh, E mini S and P because if you if you like patterns, you'll see that. We did make this uh, butterfly pattern on the 15-minute chart. Uh, we got up to that 2185 level. Uh, that was the area, you know, spot on was the actual ABCD. We hit that. Now we backed off uh, 15 handles down to the uh, 2169 level. So that's going to be interesting uh, to see. Now, I, I have a thesis here. I don't know if it's worth anything or not, but I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to stop putting charts up and just talk to you for just a second. There's been a lot of, uh, a lot, a lot of volatility following the election. It surprised everybody. Everyone, most of the pundits uh, believed that uh, Trump was going to be elected and it was going to be negative to the stock market. It did exactly the opposite. The Dow Jones rallied 1,500 points straight up. Now, my my thesis might be like this: What if this was? What if these last few days, from uh, November the 8th to where we are now, what if this is all the fake out? In other words, what if this is the false breakout to the upside, and then the market starts starts down? This would be very negative for Trump because that's the only thing he has positive going for him. If you listen to the news, I mean, no matter what he says, somebody think, takes it negative. I mean, it doesn't make any difference. You know, no matter what they say, you know, people are going to take something negative from he, he I don't know if you know this or not, but he selected as his uh, uh, religious advisor the, at the White House as Jesus of Nazareth. And the uh, Congress have repudiated it because he was Jewish. So what are you going to do about that? Anyway, we'll see what's going out now. The, also, you've had, you know, the transportation make a big ABCD pattern up in here. We've had non-confirmation in the NASDAQ, non-confirmation in the S&P 500. So these are things that we've got this big cycle date coming in here on Friday. That's when we're going to have uh, Norm Winsky on. So let's keep in mind that if that happens, that's going to be a really, a really big thing. And if, if the market would, you know, break down from here, they have someone to blame it on. I mean, they blaming, they blaming everything on him since the melting of the ice caps to the two earthquakes that we had this past week were all blamed on Trump. So We'll see whether it's going to continue this way, but right now it looks a little bit interesting. I mean, just a little skeptical when I see everybody uh, jumping on it. Even the people at the supermarket here in Tucson are talking about the market going up. But when that, when that happens, you have to be uh, really, uh, really aware of what's going on. Now, if we take a look at the uh, New York Stock Exchange Index and just to see what it's done here over the past um, couple of days, you'll notice that all we've done is to go up to the 78% um, retracement. Let's try it again, Larry. The 61% retracement of the move. Now, this is the broad market. As you can see, we made that beautiful ABCD pattern down on November 4th. You know, that was a sign that there was going to be something dramatic happening, and it, it certainly did it. Unfortunately, it did it in the middle of the night where unless you stayed up all night, uh, as a trader, you couldn't, uh, you couldn't really – you know, you couldn't uh, profit from it because by the time you woke up in the morning, the market had already rallied a thousand points in the Dow Jones, and we were on our way for uh, some more of a rally. So, those are the things. But remember, 
the, what any market that can give you 1,500 points can take 1,500 points away from you, and you know that they go down a lot faster than they go up. That's uh, the old law of gravity, Newton's number one law. And then, of course, uh, number three is the one we live off of, and that's for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. So those are the ones that we want to be looking at. Uh, actually, that uh, uh, that Brad the Bradley date actually is the 18th, Gator. Uh, it is the 18th. It's not today. So uh, that, that at least by by the the way we look at it. So we'll see if that's going to to be the case. We'll see what's uh, see how this happens. Okay. Now we had another question about. Uh, uh, Deutsche Bank. Just let me get this up here and take a look at it here. Uh, you'll see here that we had the same situation going on in Deutsche Bank that we had here with the rest of the market. As you can see here, uh, right before the election, it was poised to break out. You see it had made a 38% a retracement and then closed above the highs of October. And then it gapped up right after the election. And we went up and made that ABCD yesterday at the 61% retracement of the March high. This this chart still looks like Lehman Brothers, folks. Even with this big rally, it still looks like Lehman Brothers. Now, it hit the exact bottom down there. Oh, take a break here. Pay some bills. Be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, uh, we are going to take a look at the utility market along with the treasury bonds. I posted them uh, overlaid on each other. As you can see, we made the 61% retracement on the utility index. And as you can see here, the correlation between the utility index and the treasury bonds is probably one of the strongest correlations that we have in anything on intermarket relationships. Uh, that is because, you know, the utilities is based on the interest rate that they get from dividend paying stocks. As you can see here, the collapse in treasury bonds since the election has been rather dramatic. What we're starting to see, uh, two days in a row now, we've seen a, a big change in the interest, not a big change, but smaller, the, the rate of change of the open interest increasing has dropped dramatically. In fact, we actually went down yesterday in open interest, and that is usually a, a bearish sign. So, uh, excuse me, a bullish sign when open interest drops and prices drop. So uh, keep an eye on this very, very closely in here because this is a very strongly correlated market and is telling us that the utilities are ready to rally and bonds are ready to rally. It's totally different than what they're telling you in the news right now. They're telling you that everybody is going out of bonds and buying stocks. We are not seeing that in the New York Stock Exchange Index. We're seeing it in the Dow Jones, which is 30 stocks, of which many of them are the high-priced ones, like uh, you know Goldman Sachs and some of the others. Um, Visa and um, Transamerica and some of the others. But this is uh, the reason for watching this is because if they do trap you or they're trying to trap you and people come out of bonds and start to buy stocks, that's the case. Well, my assumption is they might start going back into bonds and selling their stocks. There's a possibility of that, too, because rates are much higher now. So they are able to get another a little bit higher rate. Uh, we've looked at that long-term chart before. Uh, we, we've completed the similar moves. This is the seventh one we've had since 1981. So I'm just saying for short term, keep an eye on these bonds uh, from the long side because they have a potential here to surprise people. It's very, very oversold for one thing. And as you can see by that utility index, that's a really strong indicator. If this thing was really bad, uh, the utility index would be trading below 600, and it is certainly uh, not doing that. So watch that very, very closely, and you'll see that uh, there's a potential here for something dramatic, you know, to uh, take a look at. And that's really all you're looking at is a pattern that may or may not uh, pop up. Now, there's one other thing that was shared to me um, yesterday by my good friend Jim Twentyman, who I'm going to get to see uh, on Friday. Hold on a second here. Uh, you'll you'll notice here that we've made a almost a perfect 78% retracement now in the New York Stock Exchange Index. As you can see, uh, this is uh, as of yesterday. Uh, as of uh, yesterday, uh, we did go up, take out that previous high. We went almost to the exact 78 retracement, and that's right at a 20 minute line. Also, so there's a couple of things here that say that say this could possibly, you know, be a spot. Now, someone's asked if this is a head and shoulders pattern. Uh, going back from June. Uh, and folks, I don't see that because you don't have the good symmetry of the June to uh, September high and September to where we are now. If we had uh, that symmetry lined up better, I would say, yes, it could be a head and shoulders, but it is not doing that. And not only that, but the right shoulder is much higher than the left shoulder. And that's not, that's not a bearish head and shoulders pattern that you'd like to see. So these are just spots that we're very, very close to, whether it's going to mean anything or not, but we'll have to pay, you know, very, very close attention to it uh, from a, you know, technical standpoint. Now, um, just one second here. I want to, uh, I've got to change something. Uh-oh. Uh, all right, my beeper's going off. If people ask me what it means when my, when these beepers go off, I have price, uh, price model set so that when the uh, price hits, it tells me whether a market is actually breaking out or not. And one of my beepers just hit, uh, we're very, very close to a breakout in gold. If we get above the 13, excuse me, 1235 level in gold, that'll be a, a pretty significant breakout in my opinion because we've tried it, uh, you know, several times here 
uh, in the gold. We got up to 1232 uh, uh, last night, and then we backed off to the 1221 area, which was the 61% retracement again. But if we do get above that, that would tell us that we're going to have a little bit of a pop to the upside, you know, getting up to around the 1245 level, which would be $34 off the bottom, which we all know that the uh, harmonic number uh, in gold is $34. So that would be the target for this move to be looking for it would be the 1245 level. If you'll notice on the left-hand side of that chart over there, you'll see the 135 pattern pointed out again. You have beautiful symmetry, you have nice ratios and uh, lower tops, and that's exactly what Roy Longstreet wanted when he when he did describe this pattern. So keep that one in mind as we're as we're looking along. Someone asked a question about the uh, U.S. Treasury, who's going to be uh, picked. I know that the gentleman from Goldman Sachs, because one second, <coughs> because he's old old school. Goldman Sachs could be the uh, next. Uh, one or possibly Jamie Dimon. Frankly, I think he's going to pull somebody out of the hat like Wilbur Ross or something like that just to keep it a little bit differently. That would be my suggestion, but again, that's just my suggestion. We'll see we'll see what's happening. You know, that's really what we're watching here. So keep that in mind as we look at some of these charts. I posted the chart of price line yesterday. Someone's asked me to post it again. Just to show the pattern that is here, I'll, I'll bring it to your attention again. And you'll see here that this comes from our good friend, uh, Jim Bartolioni. And you'll notice that we have that three drive to a top pattern that also happens to be the one, two, three, four, five expanding triangle. This was the pattern was popularized by H.M. Uh, Gartley in his book, Profits in the Stock Market, 1937. And then also by Wells Wilder, who did a great job. Uh, and he re he renamed it the reverse point wave because that's usually where they reverse from. And it also is the same pattern but works extremely well. Uh, we owe a great deal of gratitude to Wells Wilder because he brought us a lot of really good uh, uh, different types of oscillators to use uh, with some of these things that, that work very well. As we can see how Steve Rhodes and Basil Chapman work with those and they're very, very well. So if you... They work very well. So if you watch those, they do give you a really good idea of what's uh, what's going to to happen, you know, with uh, with some of these things that we're watching. Let's just take a quick look at where we are in the market. We backed off to uh, 21.68 from the high that we made last night at 21.85. So we dropped uh, 17 handles. So uh, any rally back to that 21.80 level would probably be a good level to uh, take a look at it. You know, from the uh, the long side. As far as someone's asked a question about the bonds, uh, we need bonds to get above the uh, 157 uh, level. We're trading at 154.22 right now, so that's a possibility. That if we get above that, then we're looking at something that could be, you know, really uh, really exciting if we do get that. Because you're gonna you would catch a lot of people uh, looking the wrong way on that one. Much like what would happen if the stocks were to turn around from here. Because then people would say, uh-oh, what's happened? And guess who they'd blame it on? No question about that. We have a, we certainly have a whipping boy there on uh, Fifth Avenue. 877-927-6648. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. 
It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern Time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and as luck would have it, I've got a slight problem with my charts. So I don't think I'm going to be able to post any other charts this morning. Um, someone's asked a question uh, about uh, Rich Anderson. Um, we were supposed to have Rich on today, but unfortunately, uh, Rich has a um, very close family member that is fighting the big C, and he's been with him for several weeks. Um, uh, so it's going to be a little while before we get him back on, probably maybe towards the end of next week. Uh, we'll try to get uh, Rich on, but he hasn't been in for about eight days. I spoke with him last night. It's his father-in-law who's uh, rather, uh, he's elderly, but um, he's fighting the big C. And when you get to be a, in your late 80s and you fight a disease, it's pretty tough. So he, any prayers you can give him would certainly uh, be appreciated. He's very comfortable in everything. He's got six lovely children and a whole bunch of grandkids up there in Minnesota. So uh, he's well-loved, but um, Rich is with him right now. Anyway, let's get back to the markets a little bit. Um, one of the things that we're going to do on uh, Friday, excuse me, on Monday, is we're going to have Adrian Togare from Trading on Target on. And she is, uh, you know, really good with the, 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 fit, the psychological things of, uh, of the market. Uh, you know, for many years, uh, well over 35 years, uh, Mark Douglas was by my side, and, uh, you know, he was there, you know, helping me along the way. I became friends with Adrian many years ago. Also, she actually had worked with Van Tharp for some time, and she's incredibly good uh, with the psychology. And, folks, this is really probably 85% mental, what we do. The technical part is the easy part. The hard part is the mental part where you have to be able to, you know, take the responsibility for yourself and to be able to see that uh, you're the one that has to take, uh, you know, the final responsibility for the trade. You know, we can give you some ideas here at TFNN, but you're the one that has to be able to decide whether you're going to be able to uh, make that decision or not. That's the main thing uh, that you have to realize when you do this. Remember that when you're trading, you have to develop a mindset and, uh, you know, that's right. You want to hit your right, Marshall. You want to use that nine inch cycle, the one from your left ear to your right ear. That's the most insight, most important cycle in all of trading, because if you get that cycle right, you get it right real easy. And it's all it's all related to your belief in your system and the belief in yourself and, and realize that you have to protect yourself against your worst enemy and your worst enemy 
is yourself. If you remember the the uh, wor uh, words from the uh, Art of War by Sun Tzu, that if you know your enemy, you're strong, but if you know yourself, you're omnipotent, and that is certainly true in trading. If you've read any of the things that uh, Tudor Jones has written, which has been not too much because he's been pretty busy, but he always focuses on, you know, the risk at, that you're dealing with, and you have to understand yourself you know, better than uh, any anyone else. That's why when you see these guys in these mutual funds, they don't have any skin in the game, folks. There's a big difference. You know, they don't care. Like like people that bought Alibaba on the original price offering at 97 and it went to 42. I mean, uh, you know, that that's the things that happen. Now, some people buy things like, uh, you know, when Google came out, it got the 69 uh, on the low day uh, when it opened, and it, it's gone to, uh, you know, uh, really high prices. So <laughs> you don't always get those types like Google. So remember that you have to pay close attention, you know, to the trades that you do and take responsibility for them. And you, and you must always use some type of risk protection. It doesn't necessarily have to be a stop if you're really, really strongly disciplined. And I haven't met many, many play, uh, traders like that. But you can use a an equity stop. In other words, if your equity drops, you know, more than 3% on one day, you stop trading, you know, that type of stop is is also good. But you, using a stop in the market, if you place it correctly, and don't place it where the old highs and lows are, place it, you know, at the 1.27 or uh, 1.618 of the old move, if that's not, you know, too much of a dollar amount. But you, you got to realize that you're, you're trading with money here. And uh, well, you already know that. But, you know, you don't want to get hurt really badly because, like Roy Longstreet said, the first mistake teaches, the second mistake kills. Your first mistake is you, you've made a bad mistake on the trading. The second mistake is you didn't correct it. And that's usually the difference between a neophyte trader and the professional traders. The professional will, will, tra will uh, take out the... Uh, the the, uh, the bad trade, uh, you know, almost immediately. So those are the main things that you're looking at while you're watching these things. So we'll just keep an eye on what we're looking at here on some of these things. I still think that the one that's going to look the best uh, down the road uh, a week or so from now is going to be buying the bonds and also buying the uh, the gold or the silver, those look the best to me. This would uh, certainly be negated uh, if we do take the lows out that we made uh, this uh, past Monday. So those are the things that I would really, uh, really urge you to keep a really close eye on, especially those bonds, because uh, you know they've had a, a tremendous move down. As you can see here, we did get, let's just put this bond chart up here. I was able to get the charts working again. You'll be able to see here. There's the uh, T bond. You can see these correction move we've had in uh, in 2009. We had another one in 2014, and here again, uh, we're having another one very similar to the one like we had in 2009. It's almost exactly uh, same percentage move. So that's just three of the moves. And since 1981, we've had major moves where the corrections are very similar. So. Uh, the bond market is under a great deal of pressure now, but it's due for a pretty good uh, uh, snapback rally. Someone has just posted something really interesting from the Livermore book, Reminiscences of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefevre. Lefevre was actually the pen name for Jesse Livermore. And he says, a loss never bothers me after I take it. I forget it overnight. But being wrong, not taking the loss, this is what damages to the pocketbook and to the soul. And the last three words of that is to the soul. And believe me, that's what really hurts because you just keep shaking it off. If you've ever seen a golfer or a baseball player, when they strike out or they, you know, do a double bogey and stuff, the real professional moves right on and just keeps going. Tiger Woods does not throw his, well, he probably should. <laughs> he didn't throw his uh, clubs in the lake and keep going. He kept on, kept on moving. So we'll see. I make a prediction that uh, this coming season, I believe it starts pretty soon, the golf season in January here in Tucson with the uh, Tucson Open. I believe Tucson, uh, he's going to win a couple tournaments this year. That's my uh that's my suggestion. He's almost 40 now, so we'll see if uh, if I'm right about this one. But I think a cycle's about right for him. I think it's been about four years since he's done anything. He certainly paid a, a great price for his uh, indiscretions, whatever those were. But anyway, we'll watch what's going on to see what's going on with these things. We'll, we'll see what's going on. Okay, now 
Uh, let's move on to uh, one other thing. Oh, we got the break coming up pretty soon. And uh, yes, there's another someone else mentioned that just because you don't have a position on in the market, that's actually a good thing. That means you have the patience to wait for what you're looking for. And that's the $64 you know, dollar question that you want to do is make sure that you have that you know, working in your working in your favor. That's the real key to take a look at. But we'll watch these markets very closely. Remember, if we get above 1235 today on a closing basis in gold, that's going to be a breakout, in my opinion. And if we close above the 156 level, which is a handle and a half in bonds, that would be a breakout also. 877-927-6648. I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we had a request from our good friend in Singapore, Mr. William. And uh, we're going to put the chart of our crude oil up. You'll notice that we did hit that 78% retracement within about 10 cents yesterday uh, at the uh, 42 uh, 30 level. Uh, we've rallied pretty good. You'll notice that we rallied up and we touched that 20 min line, which is basically a perfect channel line. So that tells you that there's pretty good resistance at that level. And so you want to watch that because if we can get this to close above this 46.75 level, which is about a buck and a half from where we are right now, that would be a pretty bullish sign 
uh, in the crude oil. But we need to get above that in order for it to return to be uh, bullish. That's uh, the way it looks like uh, in the crude oil market. Now, we've got a couple minutes to go here. The most important things to watch, folks, in my opinion, are that utility ABCD pattern that we looked at, that big Gartley. That tells us that bonds should start to rally. Uh, the next one that's interesting, of course, is the silver market. Uh, when we hit that 1665 level the other day at the election time, that that's also a perfect 61% retracement. Those are the numbers that we like, you know, to look at. And then also in the S&P, should we get above the uh, 2185 level, that tells us that it's also going to break out into new high ground. But as of yet, it still has to prove that it wants to do that. That's the the primary thing you want to uh, remember when you're when you're looking at some of these things uh, each day. Remember the New York Stock Exchange Index has uh, you know right up also up against the 20 min line and a 78 percent retracement. So that's also very important to what we're watching right now. So those are the four that I would really focus on uh, for today. And, and if the market sells off a little bit today, we will watch that also tomorrow. Because if there's a surprise, and believe me, these markets that go up 1,500 points can come down 1,500 points, considering all the political ramifications that you've got going on here, it's just, uh, it's really quite, uh, quite amazing. Uh, it's, it's surprising, to say the least, and I'm not easily surprised. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to tom o'brien's daily market letter market insights tom o'brien's daily newsletter market insights comes out every market day at around 9 30 a.m and provides tom's daily commentary on the broad market including the dow nasdaq and s p plus specific trade recommendations there's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity he'll give you the entry price price target and stock price of each stock and option trade with Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.